All right. So there is actually uh, uh, um, um, some a classification of um, uh, hynia, and this is based on the anatomy, like the structures involved, the parts of the intestines involved. That's just the best way to say it. All right. So we have discussed what middle hynia. This one will say that the intestines are kind of like telescoping on each other. The next will be moving to the Richter's hynia. Now this Richter's hynia is just a part of the intestine that is going through. Yeah, this one is the best. Just a part of the intestine is going through. But the other part of the lumen is still free and there's continuity of what boil activity. All right. But the male does one, there's like telescoping of all these things on their self and all that, right? So we're talking about this Richard's high now from the definition, talk about the characteristics, talk about the possible causes, talk about the symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. Okay. So see so that the Richard's high is actually a type of high where only one side of the intestine will protrude through a defect in the abdominal wall rather than the entire circumference of the intestine. Okay. So it is also known as what a partial hynia or parietal hynia okay so this one i would say that is mild okay because just one part the other part is still free for what bowel activity characteristics now only one portion of the intestinal wall protrudes through the defect uh, the remaining portion of the intestine remains within the abdominal cavity so um, it actually typically occurs in the anterior abdominal wall, okay? I often, uh, often it will occur in the inguinal region or the umbilical region, okay? Where you have a high tendency of the part of the intestine protruding through, okay? Then it can be reducible or irreducible, all right? We have already spoken about differences between reducible hyenas and irreducible hyenas. And talking about the possible causes, it could be due to what a weakened abdominal wall muscles or fascia, right? Could be due to increased atrial abdominal pressure, right? Could be due to trauma or injury to the abdominal wall, okay? It could be due to what some congenital defect, okay? These are the possible causes of the rich tars hynia, all right? And talking about the symptom, yeah, if somebody has a rich tars hynia, yeah, they'll be having abdominal pain, discomfort. There will be a palpable mass or lump. Then it could also lead to what? some adverse things like intestinal obstruction or strangulation. You know, obstruction is when uh, yeah, the intestines are obstructed, but the blood supply is not uh, interfered with. But strangulation, the blood supply is kind of like cut off. And this can lead to necrosis of tissues and all that. All right? The diagnosis, if you want to diagnose this and reach that hernia, you might want to do a physical examination. You want to do imaging studies like CT scan or ultrasound. You might want to do herniography that's injecting the contrast material into a hernia sac just to confirm. Then treatment for this, yeah, surgical repair, and it's often with a mesh so that it will reinforce the place, make the place very, very strong. They can also reduce the hernia and also what repair the defect. You can manage any other complications like intestinal obstructions or strangulation. All right. So that's it about the Richter's hernia. Of the definition, characteristics, causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. So that's it. Bye for now.